Welcome back to Element A Day in May, and thank you for watching this far. Today is the last day of Alchemy Week, and I couldn't talk about alchemy for an entire week without talking about gold. It's a popular element here on Element A Day in May, and it's been popular throughout history. For alchemists, one of their main goals of their practice was to turn metal, such as lead, into gold. And this practice was actually very dangerous, and not just because those who might actually succeed would likely be putting their lives in grave danger to the powerfully greedy, but it was really dangerous because there was no regulatory division for good safety practices in laboratories at the time, and no step-by-step -step proven method for actually transmuting metals into gold. In fact, it is thought that King Charles II likely died of mercury poisoning after building a secret alchemy lab below his bedroom, probably out of curiosity and experimentation with the goal of turning base metals into gold. I should note that alchemists did succeed in making a fake gold, but to actually turn a metal like lead into gold, well, it's possible, more possible than the fictional Rumpelstiltskin spinning of hay into gold, but it's also an extreme expensive transformation. Rumpelstiltskin demanded a firstborn child to turn hay into gold, and turning lead into gold probably costs about as much as raising a hundred children. Also, it is not the philosopher's stone that is the catalyst for transmuting metals, as was thought, but rather a very expensive nuclear reaction. The ultimate point being, we now know to create gold from other metals, you would have to spend a lot more gold than you would actually make. Well, that is it for Gold and Alchemy Week. A new theme week starts tomorrow in a new location with seven lesser known elements never before covered on Element A Day in May. Don't forget to subscribe for science, everyone, and science history and elements and parodies because it shows your support of what I do. And I really thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna miss this hat. <laughs> Element a day in May.